Well, I received another package uh, similar to the one I just did a video on. This is uh, another RF return loss bridge. This time it's from uh, China, China, Guangdong. I think the other one is from China too, I, actually, but I, I got it from a source in uh, Ukraine. Anyway, it's wrapped up in a bubble pack like the other one. This is a little nicer in that it's in a box. The box is plastic, however, so it's not that different. Again, uh, SMA connectors on the thing. And this one's supposed to go up to 2500, I think, uh, megahertz. So uh, we'll check that out and see if it uh, matches the specs that it's, we're given for it. So I uh, decided I'd pop the cover on this one. It uh, apparently had been glued down, but not very well. But here's what's inside this, and as you see, it's very similar to the uh, other uh, unit that we tested earlier. A little different uh, set of ferrites here used for the ballon. A little bit of uh, trimming done here. This capacitance made out of a little bit of coax. Uh, similar gimmick here to do some tuning, presumably. This one, and also across the uh, resistors here. Uh, I don't know if you can see the resistors down in there or not, but there's a gimmick here to uh, adjust the capacitance. All with the idea of, uh, presumably, the idea of getting the thing to tune over a wider range uh, than the other design. So we'll see how it works. As you can see, we uh, have the results of the three different uh, devices we used for return loss measurement. Uh, the reddish line there, ZFDC-20-5 from uh, Mini Circuits, is at the uh, top. So it's got the uh, worst uh, return loss uh, readings of the bunch. Uh, but it's still acceptable up to probably 800 megahertz or so, maybe 900. And it's a little marginal at uh, 1200 uh, and up. So 1296, uh, I wouldn't believe it as much as I uh, would uh, at the lower frequencies. The other two, uh, the 046 PC board type and the boxed type, are both uh, fairly decent uh, all the way up. Uh, this probably reflects the loads that I'm using uh, on the PC board one uh, more than anything else. But anyway, uh, not too much difference except at the low end, uh, the 046 uh, PC board one is a little better, which is reflected in its specs. And at uh, the high end, of course, the uh, uh, boxed version uh, that's available on eBay is uh, is better and is fairly flat. Looks like it's going to go up to probably 2,000 or more. It's supposed to go up to 2,500, I believe. So uh, this is the direct comparison of these uh, units. The boxed RF bridge uh, with the 75 ohm TV dummy load, which is designed probably to go up to 7 or 800 uh, megahertz, megahertz because of the TV band. Um, it looks like it's pretty flat across there using the uh, boxed unit. Uh, the 50 ohm TV type dummy load, however, is not quite as good. It's, uh, within its specs, it's less than one and a half to one, which is what the spec is. But uh, it uh, does climb up by the time you go up to oh, 800 megahertz or so, and is very close to one and a half to one up to uh, 1500 megs. So. It's uh, not quite as good as the 75 ohm uh, dummy load is. And then the bottom um, yellow line there is, of course, the uh, attenuators that I use to calibrate the uh, return loss or, or look at the return loss of the uh, boxed bridge. So it gives you an idea how much margin we have uh, between the readings or the measurements and the uh, capability of the equipment. I uh, put a... Uh, whip from my Alenco DJ G7 uh, HT, which covers two meters 
uh, 70 centimeters and uh, 23 centimeters. And here's the uh, test setup that I used. Uh, on the screen you can see the uh, 2 meter results, but we'll take a closer look at that. Well, we uh, have the 2 meter response here. Now this shows that this thing is not really resonant in a 2 meter band. I'm not sure why that is. Um, the uh, uh, whip should uh, work. Now it could be there's some matching going on inside the uh, radio itself or the HT itself to uh, correct for this. I, I don't really know. But anyway, this is what it is. Uh, at 140 it's uh, about 2 to 1. That's uh, 9.5 dB. And at uh, 142.9, well almost 143, it's 9.5. So that's a, that's a 2 to 1 bandwidth. Two and a half to one's a little uh, wider than that, of course. Um, so I, I really don't have any uh, means of determining why this is, um, except that remember that on a whip antenna, the uh, other half of the dipole is the handheld. So there is some tuning effect of the, the body of the handheld when you are checking a whip like this. So I'm presuming, like I said, that there might be some other matching going on there. And, uh, of course, the uh, other half of the antenna is your hand and the handheld. Here we have the resonance at the uh, 70 centimeter band, uh, 432 if you wish, or 440. Um, as you see, uh, at 420 it's uh, not a very good match, and it's still not a very good match at 430. But at 440 it's uh, 2 to 1, and it's... Uh, uh, about uh, one and a half to one at uh, 450. The resonance appears to be up in the commercial part of the band, uh, or the I should say the commercial band rather than the ham band here, because it's good uh, one and a half to one from about 450 to 470. So I'm not quite sure uh, if they're using a, an antenna that is actually set up to favor that band or not. And again, it could still be the just the uh, body of the uh, handheld that. Uh, changes the tuning on this and any matching that they might have internally don't know and last but not least is the uh, 23 centimeter or 1296 uh, performance well 1280 uh, whatever the uh, fm part of the band is but anyway uh, this is what we get uh, this is the uh, 046 bridge is the uh, the uh, red and the uh, yellow is the box bridge which shows better uh, return loss uh, so there is a, an impact, apparently, of the tuning on the 046 bridge, uh, which, as we sh uh, showed before, was not real good a match, even on a dummy load up there, uh, or shall we say, to return loss. Um, but anyway, this is the way it uh, comes out, and uh, we seem to be uh, reasonable uh, at uh, 1260 to 1296 at least. Um, reasonable match which is the main part of the band that's being used. So there you have a comparison of the three uh, RF bridges, uh, well actually a directional coupler and two RF bridges that I use on my Regal uh, DSA 815 and spectrum analyzer and uh, uh, the box one probably goes up to 2500 megahertz but uh, I can't prove that because they don't have the uh, range on my spectrum analyzer and uh, apparently most of the uh, uh, $15 ones uh, that are PC boards the 046s aren't aren't available because I think he's sold them all out so <laughs> maybe they'll uh, show up again I don't know but the um, boxed one is certainly an alternative to those of you who want one.